These long, low buildings are part of a large egg farm. This egg farm has many laying houses, just like this one. This is Mr. Tom Williams, a helper. Mr. Williams takes care of all the hens and the eggs in this house. The hens stay inside the house all the time. They never go outdoors. Inside this house, the hens eat and lay eggs. They walk and run and rest. Everything in the house is clean. There's good light and sunshine. There's plenty of fresh air. Mr. Williams cleans the water pans every day. The hens always have clean, fresh running water. Hens that lay lots of eggs drink lots of water. These hens are healthy and strong. Ground up corn cobs cover the floor. They are dry and clean for the hens feet. This helps keep eggs clean. Each hen has a band on her leg with her number on it. It takes many buckets of feed for thousands of hens. Whole grain, such as oats and corn, is good food for hens that lay eggs. Into this trough goes enough feed to last three days. And now, condensed buttermilk, almost as thick as butter. condensed buttermilk and dry grain mash. Hens like these together. The hens peck and peck at it. They eat all they want. A hen needs something gritty to grind her food. This oyster shell is gritty. It also helps to make strong egg shells. These hens get the best of care. These hens lay the finest of eggs. Mr. Williams gathers eggs from open nests. He works quickly, but carefully. In the open nests, hens are free to come and go. Many hens may lay eggs in open nest. The helper gathers the eggs five day. Fresh eggs clean shells. In the other end of the house there are trap nests. This hen goes into the nest. The door closes behind her so she can't get out. Which nests will these other hens choose? It won't be many minutes until each hen in the trap nests lays an egg. Mr. Williams empties the nest many times a day. He wears an egg apron to carry the eggs. He keeps both hands busy opening the door, taking out the hen and the egg, and marking the chart. Here's a hen that has laid an egg. Here's the egg. Here's the hen's number. The helper marks the time when he takes the egg. Three days a week, the helper weighs each egg he gathers from the trap nests. This is an extra large egg. If the egg is large, and if the hen lays one nearly every day, she's a very good laying hen. These hens seem to be looking for nests, too.
And they walk, and they stop, and they look. Which nests will they go into? Now let's see what Mr. Williams does with the eggs he has collected. All the eggs go into thick paper cases which keep them from breaking. This case of eggs is ready for the cooling room. The egg cases have large holes so the air can move about the eggs all the time. All day long, the helper cares for the hens in his laying house and gathers and cases eggs for the cooling room. In the cooling room, the cool air keeps the eggs fresh. They stay here two days or longer. Then the eggs go into the candling and grating room. Some eggshells become a little dirty. The electric egg cleaner takes off dirt. Small rollers hold the eggs against whirling wheels. These wheels take off dirt and leave the shell clean. A final touch with the sandpaper brush cleans the ends. Eggs and more eggs. Eggs from the cooling room right along on a conveyor. A tray of three dozen eggs onto the conveyor. Eggs, clean and white. Dozens and dozens of eggs. One by one, the eggs roll off the conveyor to a moving belt. The belt takes them to the candling machine to be tested. A man looks at each egg in front of strong lights. Good, clear eggs like these pass the test. This is how a good egg looks to the man at the candling machine. Sometimes he finds an egg that has a spot in it. The spot doesn't mean that it's a bad egg, but he takes it out. This egg has a shell that might break. The man at the candling machine takes out all the eggs like this. They will be sold as frozen eggs or dried eggs or powdered eggs. This machine separates the eggs according to size. The extra large eggs come off the machine first. Next, the large sized eggs. Then, the medium sized eggs. And then, small eggs. Each size is kept together as the helpers pack the eggs. Some go into large shipping cases. Some into cartons. The small end goes down, the large end up. Dozens of fresh eggs, cartons closed, sealed with a government label of quality and size. All eggs go into fiber cases holding 30 dozen eggs. This man seals the cases of eggs and they are ready for shipment. Every day, many thousands of eggs are wheeled out to the loading room for shipping. The covered truck protects the eggs from the heat of the sun. Hot sunshine would spoil eggs quickly. So that is how we get eggs from the egg farm. Eggs on their way. 
Perhaps the truck will go to the railroad station and a train will carry the eggs to the city. Or perhaps they will go over the highway directly to the food stores where we may buy them, clean and fresh and good to eat.